What up, what up, what up, internet, who you are, where you be, where you at, what you see. This is Pop Cult Parent, the podcast that is always playing the drums of liberation. I am one of your hosts, Mark MFD Jones, and I am always joined by... This is Niels D-R-Y, and th- 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 that's all, folks. And if... uh. You're wondering, you know, why why is it just me and Nels on this episode as well? A lot of things have been happening. A lot of things have been happening on the internet, on this podcast, so I'm just going to get down to it. If you've been listening, you know, we had the whole uh, bet about One Piece, and and uh, Nels, I bet Nels, if he would watch the first 35, 37 episodes of 45. One Piece. 45. 45. 45. Yep. You know, and he did, and he reviewed them, and he kept watching them, and he became a fan, and now he's a super fan. Yes. So- <laughs> <laughs> All of that is accurate. <laughs> he's a super fan, and if you, unless you've been living under a rock, uh, One Piece has been taking over the internet for a couple yes. of years. <laughs> It is. It has been trending. People like I got people at work who don't even know what One Piece is. Who are asking me about One Piece? It has been trending everywhere because. A major episode just dropped tonight. We just watched it. Nels and I both watched it tonight. And we were talking about it immediately after, give you our live reactions. And it was a major episode in the uh issue in the manga. A a a Luffy, Monkey D Luffy, is getting a serious power up. And there was all these collaborations, all these, all these famous anime directors and and uh Warner Brothers Studios was involved. Nuts, nuts, super hype. Everyone was hyped. And so we watched that episode and we just figured we'd live, live watch it and then talk about it. So, I mean, Nels, like, a, a, unless there's anything else I'm missing, I say we just get into this episode, right? Well, I just want to give some further context for the folks and the importance of this episode, this episode in particular. So we're, we're thinking that this episode can kick off a series of episodes for Pop Call Parent. And this is what we're going to call our, our One Piece check-ins. Um, and so this decision was made because of the journey that I have personally have gone on that we have documented here in 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 pop cult parent that uh, Mark has helped orchestrate and create because as you all may remember several episodes ago, um, I was a hater of One Piece. I was a straight up hater. And then I watched the first 45 episodes and I realized I can no longer hate on One Piece. And then I watched more and I became a fan, like Mark just said. And now I'm at this place, Mark Jones, that it's, it is, I, I, I am not just a fan of One Piece. I am a defender <laughs> of One Piece. <laughs> I go out my way <laughs> to make comments to folks who, to who defend, would dare. <laughs> who would dare to defile the name of One Piece. <laughs> like, I go out my way to be like, no, 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 you fool. <laughs> You're, yeah, you you're, fool. you're you're like this Blade. This is one of the greatest shows ever. You <laughs> fool. You're like Blade and the Punisher. Like every night, you're like time for another one. <laughs> I was like, where are you going now? <laughs> Justice. <laughs> yeah, Some one piece hater always trying to skate uphill. <laughs> gotta gotta knock him down to his senses. I I have become a defender of One Piece. Um, oh man, and so. You know, with the culmination of this new episode where we get the premiere of Gear 5 and it's a big deal and I can't can't wait to to talk about our live reactions to it. Um, the other thing is at the end of the month, One Piece is getting a live action show on Netflix. And like mm-hmm. what better way to like get a whole new legion of One Piece fans to like come by watching the live action show. And, you know. Live action shows haven't had a good track record. Well, oh, excuse let's say me, live action Netflix. anime shows. On Netflix. On Netflix, yes. Have not had a great track record. <laughs> not not a great track record. So um, we can talk more about why, you know, we actually have our hopes up. Or we may or may not have our hopes up for this. But, you know, it, this we just think this series of episodes would be great for folks who've gone on similar journeys that I have and even more satisfactory journeys like Mark has being a fan from the from the beginning, from the get-go, and just watching as the entire world becomes huge fans as well. Uh, we just thought folks would appreciate these these sets of check-ins. So um this will be a great way to start it. Yeah, um, I just want to say like 
like I can't believe we are here. <laughs> I, I I can't believe me we neither. <laughs> me like, neither. I went from begging you to watch One Piece while we were still in m- maybe high school. Yes. Or yes. out of like yeah, just out of high Once school. Once you found out I liked movie. anime, it was the first one you tried to get me to watch. Our children didn't even we didn't even know our wives yet. And no. I've been begging you to watch One Piece. Yes. And now look at us. Now look at us. Premier night talking about episodes. Now you read manga week to yes. week. <laughs> week to week. <laughs> what a time. What, what a, a time, time to be alive. <laughs> Hey, yes, but cheers. Here I'm ready are. to talk about this with you, man. I'm excited. I will say before we get into this episode, um, for the Netflix, I I got my hopes up. You know, I there's some things. My biggest issue so far, what I've seen is, and I talked to you about this. I think all the sets, like all the all the production design, like the places, the ships, all that looks amazing. Like the Mary yeah. looks great, Baratia looks, you know, all that looks good. My issue is some characters. I'm like, yo, y'all nailed it. Like I, I'm like DJ Khaled. Yo, you, you smart. You low. You, you know, <laughs> yes. you did it. You know. And then some, some characters look like they're cosplaying. And I don't yes. know where the disconnect is. Like right now, off the top of my head, is Shanks, Mihawk, and um, there was one more. But right, like Shanks and Mihawk, they look like they're people cosplaying instead of people acting in a show. But you know, hey, who knows? It could change. You know, it's just first impressions. I mean, but if we're gonna if we're gonna talk live action, then yeah, I'm excited because Oda has been a part of it, and yeah, it seems to me again. This is, I'm like five months in, and you know, I, I can't really claim to be a deep fan. I'm five <laughs> months in, but it seems to me from the fandom, what the fandom has shared is anytime Oda's hands is on something, not only is it like relevant to like the story of one piece it's ox like the quality is also better like it's just also good because like he like makes it a point that anything he blesses is just higher quality stuff that aligns Mm -hmm. with the stories in some way shape form i won't say it's canon it just lines up with the story so if this man is as much of a madman as it seems like he is with making the manga then i i I'm I'm convinced that this is we're gonna get something decent, so that's yeah. one. And then I completely agree with you with the 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 care the sets the sets look amazing. I mean it's Netflix. I'm actually not that surprised about that. I, it's clear they took it serious, but the characters, yeah, like I I think they nailed Luffy. Like yeah, I think they did too. Dude, yeah, the way he talks, the way he looks, the way he smiles, the way he acts. I'm like that's Luffy. Like. Mm-hmm. This man was born and raised to be Luffy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm convinced of it. Like they they nailed Luffy and I think that was the hardest thing to do. Yeah. So Luffy and I think the rest of the Straw Hats honestly aesthetically they look like him and it seems like in real life they act like the actual <laughs> yes, characters they like that the they're playing. <laughs> yes, they act like yeah. like Sanji the dude playing Sanji actually cooks. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and like does martial arts so he like kicks <laughs> and knows how to kick like and he's from spain like what <laughs> like damn that's impressive you're from europe and you can cook and you kick like good job is he, good is job, he a smoker too um he... <laughs> i have not seen any smoking if and you know what i wonder if netflix i wonder if netflix will be that accurate you gotta like you gotta he smoke. would be a chain smoker yeah yeah you gotta so. smoke, like come on. <laughs> and then I, I, I honestly am an apolo- I'm a, I'm a apologize on behalf of Netflix for Shanks, because I think the small bits of Shanks we're seeing is not an accurate take on Shanks. Like I feel like we saw him get his the like the after effects of that bandit pouring the drink on him, and he was like pointing to the guy saying like here's some sake that you can have and like that's what we saw versus like badass shanks like we haven't seen so like and like he had the straw hat on the straw hat's not really for him it's for luffy you know there's just so much you can do like i just think we didn't really get shanks like we're gonna see how this dude really looks yeah but mihawk looked like cosplay mihawk absolutely yeah I'm just like, ah, come and on. And Arlong, I'm not feeling Arlong's nose. 
at all. I, I don't care. I, that's what a sword <laughs> fist looks like. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> don't look I, good. The, for Arlong, it's just the nose. Like, a lot of people yeah. are like, oh, he's not big enough. Uh, I, but, like, yeah, it's the nose for Arlong. But, hey, who knows? I tell you who they nailed. And, and if they keep going, this kid's got a lot of work to do. Is the actor playing Kobe? Yes, because <laughs> they got the issue one. Chapter they got one issue Kobe. one. They Kobe, got him. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. But if they keep going, that boy's got a lot that of poor work man. <laughs> that man, they are going to give him steroids. I'm convinced. <laughs> They're like, yo, he is either going to there. So, Mark, this can you imagine? Can we just nerd out on what the training segment might be for this guy? <laughs> They might throw him in a hood prison for a month just to toughen him up a little bit. And and make him keep the pink hair. Oh, yeah. Keep the pink hair. <laughs> keep the pink hair. And the glasses. Hey, what up, little man? <laughs> Hello, sir. Hey, get on this pipe. Come on. <laughs> One. Two. Two. <laughs> chin-ups. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> you getting 20. You getting 20, sir. Get 20. You ain't leaving till we get 20. <laughs> You're going to be here all night till you get 20. <laughs> like, I'm an actor. I don't even really I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Yo, they are going, that poor man. He is going to oh, go through, man. he is going to go through hell for the next year until yeah. they film. <laughs> the next oh, time he man. shows up. But hey, huh. they nailed, they nailed it. Uh, chapter one, Kobe. They got it. <laughs> they got it <laughs> they right. <nailed> it. <laughs> They 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 have to recast, right? Yeah, they no, have no, to recast. I, uh, you think he can do it? Do you remember uh, this man got three inches taller, right? He gained uh, twenty pounds of muscle, <laughs> right? Dog, the facial structure changed. He went from a round face to a triangle face. <laughs> Come on, man. We'll see. They might, they, might they might recast. Vision. They might recast. They might recast. They might recast. <laughs> but um, but that's the live action show, and we will be reviewing the live action show. Yes, we kind of don't know in what format yet, like a week to week or episode to episode, maybe like a clump, like three episodes at a time. But we will be definitely going over that and bringing it to you, the fans, the listeners, the One Piece loyalists. So oh God, I can't <laughs> believe we're here. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it, dude. But uh, yo, you want to get into this episode? This this gear five. I'm currently tapping my invisible drums of liberation. Yes, brother. Let's go. So, I mean, if you're listening, ho- you know, hopefully you've caught up, but we're gonna be spoiling like mm. should we should we should we not spoil anything past this episode? Because we both are caught up in the manga. Yeah, let's... Mm. Okay, to to this episode, yes. Let's okay, go to, okay. like, just the end of of the episode where Gear 5 premieres. Yes. Okay, so we are in the Wano arc. Luffy is fighting Kaido. And, you know, he's about to... This is the episode before this episode. Lay his final blow. And uh, Agent from CP0 interferes. Slows Luffy down. Kaido gives him the finishing blow, and everyone thinks Luffy is dead. Yeah, but then Zunisha, right? The, mm-hmm, the Zunisha Elf, comes mm-hmm. out of nowhere and <laughs> just, just sh- like the Kool Aid Man, just showed up out of nowhere. This is he's like, he can't do this like elephant. Momonosuke. <laughs> It's been eight hundred years. Eight hundred no, years. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk like if Mo, if if Zanisha was from Southeast DC. No, 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 no. Better yet, just a regular hood dude. Momonosuke, what the hell is going on? I don't believe it. Not my guy. Is that my guy? I know that's not my guy. I ain't heard Your of boy the is liberation. Back. It's been a minute since I heard the drums of liberation, boy. I know that sound system. I know what the, I know what's bumping down there. Not my man Joy Boy. What a brother. Yeah. So that we, is what we, we still don't know what that means. That Luffy is Joy Boy. We still don't no know idea. that. Either. 
We but, have assumptions, we have guesses, but we don't yes. know what that means. But yeah. we did find out that Luffy, the main character in the show where there are magical fruits called devil fruits that give you powers, mm-hmm. he presumably ate the gum gum fruit, the gum gum no me or whatever. Um, yep. That made gummy, him a rubber gummy, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it made him a rubber man. But we come to find out that Luffy did not eat the gum gum fruit. He ate a Zoan fruit. There are three types of devil fruits. Yep. Uh, Paramecium, Zoan, and Elogia. Yeah. And Zoans are what, like mythical beasts and animals. Well, right? they're just animals in general. They like yeah. turn. They turn your body into like the form of whatever animal is in that devil fruit. Correct. Correct. And this is a shocker because there are mythical Zoans in the show. So someone's yes. like, uh, someone has a phoenix and someone has a Buddha. Um, mm-hmm. I, I think there's one more that I'm missing. There's, uh, I think Yamato is a myth- mythical Zoan. Her, her devil Yamato fruit, is a mythical Zoan. Devil fruit. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Like, what, like, he, he is now Nika the sun god. The, the the warrior of liberation and he looks different his hair is all white his clothes are all white and he is laughing uncontrollably and and some a further note as luffy is going through this transformation we see the five elders and the five elders are like we have to shut this down because we cannot have the guy who has this devil fruit to awaken its powers and we're yeah. like, what? We've heard the term an awakened devil fruit power is like, you know, Doflamingo had it. And like, we've just mm-hmm. like seen and heard of it. But like, we never thought, like, we knew at some point it was going to happen with Luffy, of course. But we didn't know what that meant. Yeah. And then the elders say that it's not a paramecium type devil fruit like we thought. It's a Zoan type. It is human, human, mythical type. Nika Sun God. And a reminder, Zanisha says, Joy Boy has returned. And then the five elders say, for 800 years, they were trying to like get this devil fruit and the devil fruit, like they could never get it. And it was like the devil fruit was evading them. Yeah, I think they- For 800 years. Zoans have, it's confirmed. They say Zoans have a will of their own. Yes. So in- as far as we know, Zoan devil fruits are sentient. Yes. To a degree, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess. Which is wild. Which is <laughs> like chew on that. <laughs> like just that little fact. Yep. Which is wild. So you know, and we can go into like, oh, this is gonna put so many cans of worms. Like Shanks, why did he have this devil fruit? Yeah. Did he know it was the Nika Sun God fruit when Luffy ate it? Like, you know, yeah. but we, we can't even get into that right now. Get into that. <laughs> but but with this episode, so Luffy has this amazing transformation. And and Popco, the reason why this was so amazing and such groundbreaking, I'm talking about the who's who of like anime directors, fight choreographers worked on this episode. I, I don't watch a lot of Naruto, but um, a lot of like some of the best fight scenes in Naruto, the guy who did those worked on this episode. The director was the same. It was the woman who directed the episode 1015, uh, 1015, the, um, the episode where Yamato realizes that Luffy and Roger mm. have the same dream. Beautiful. beautiful. Just like beautiful episode. a work of art, just beautiful episode. Mm-hmm. And it, it was just like the Avengers of animators assembled <laughs> to make I've never video. seen or heard anything like that before. Yes. They're like, we're gonna get this person who directed the dopest My Hero Academia episode that you've ever seen. We got them. We're gonna have this person who spent like 30 years at Warner Brothers doing animated stuff. We're gonna get them. The you know that dope Naruto fight that you're like, damn, this Naruto fight's amazing. You know. Yeah, that one we took that yeah. director. He's gonna that be here. director. Like, damn. That director, he's here. Um, but I, I, I really, I really want to talk a lot about the animation because it's. Mm. You've been listening to the show. I love animation. I think it's a great medium that deserves a lot more respect than it gets. But I, I was just, I was blown by the the technical as aspects of this episode. Breathtaking, like just like the, it was beautiful. The, 
the effortless joint um joining of like western like Tex Avery, Squatch and Stretch, Warner Brothers, Bugs Bunny, and like anime, it was like seamless. It was, it was, I don't know how they did that. I don't know if like Warner Brothers went to Toei or Toei went to Warner Brothers, but it was, it was just like, it was like fusion. It was they Dragon got Ball along. Fusion. Look, yeah. I don't know they who went along. where. I don't know who went where, but they had a great time. They had a ball, dog. <laughs> they got along swimmingly <laughs> because I can't, I, Mark, you can't tell. That's the crazy thing about it. I was like, yo, who's like, who started the design and mm-hmm. who like rounded it out? And I, and I, I cannot tell. It it looks like all of a sudden the folks who have made Warner Brother cartoons, the, the Looney Tunes, all of a sudden got possessed by anime yeah. like designers and just yeah. all of a sudden became anime and like did Looney Tunes in anime. That's and, that's the best way I can describe it. And let's also say we've talked before. Um One Piece is not it was not known for the fights the fights were great and the fights were great because the characters and the motivations were great yeah you didn't watch satisfying. one piece it was very yeah. satisfying yeah you didn't watch one piece for the fights like you might watch my hero or um you know like naruto for the fights yes but once they got to wano it they like they took the that animation to 11 right but what amazes me is very serious, Facts. very dramatic, like very dynamic, like the sense of weight. We we talked about this before on the Avatar. And I, I think like Avatar is one of the greatest anime animations of all time because they really get weight. You know, Definitely. it's really hard to convey weight and balance in anime. But I feel like once they got to Wano and One Piece, they were nailing it. Like, like you really felt the blows the power, like, you really got a sense, like, yo, these characters that we've been watching for 20 years are powerful now. Like, they had a lot of potential in the beginning, but these are powerhouses now. And Mark, that King Zoro fight? Yes. I'm not going to say it's the best fight I've ever seen. You can say that. You can say that. But <laughs> the fact that I'm saying I'm not going to say that this is the best fight I've ever seen, animated fight I've ever seen, it's up there. You know what I'm saying? Like, Let, just to kind of like, let's, let's oh. be real. Zoro versus King, even Sanji versus Queen. I feel like if you're talking about the top 25 fights in anime, you got to bring them up. They oh, got to be brought up. Absolutely. They, they got to be brought up. Have to bring them up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and it, not even just the weight of the fight, like how the fight looked. Yeah. I'm literally just talking how the fight looked. You have to bring it up. Yeah, yeah. So and you know, like you know, my hero got some ones up there. My hero definitely got some ones up there. Hunter Hunter got some ones up there, and of course DBZ and you know Super. Like of course they go up there, but like that fight, it looks very good, man. So you know, and and Luffy has this awakening. He's just laughing. He looks like a Looney Tunes cartoon. He's bound. They even have the sound effects. Like they have the, like the boing, the boing, boing. Yep. boing. Mm-hmm. And it looks like when he's hitting the ground, the ground is also becoming rubber. He's just laughing uncontrollably. He's like, my, and, and, and that was, we were talking, it was so weird because when he was kind of coming to, he's like, my heartbeat feels weird. Mm-hmm. He was going in and out of focus, but we and were so was looking. The camera. It was a, yes. Yeah. And, it, and it's from a distance. And I'm like, yo, the crazy thing is, in animation, all that's intentional. Like, you can't just do that. You have to plan that. So, like, they were like, yo, Luffy's going to come in focus and then go out of focus, and the camera's going to be, like, 30 feet away. Why? I don't know. Because we want to. Because we're Toei, and Warner Brothers are here, and after the <laughs> shift, we're going out and forgetting beers. We're, <laughs> we're going out for drinks. Yeah. We are best friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that scene in uh, uh, Step Brothers. Do we just become best friends? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yo, just out of the out of focus, focus part with the lightning. They're like, "Yo, we are killing it. This episode's gonna be fire, bro." We didn't. We didn't even mention the the Luffy. Just he gets up 
and he just kind of like unleashes his aura and it clears the sky. Like it's not like all the, it's instantly. Like, bam, instantly. It was cloudy sky, full moon. Like it, it I would dude, I was just blown technically blown away. I don't I don't know if I've ever seen the only animation I've seen that like compares to this has been in like anime movies. Movies. Like yes. high budget anime movies is unreal. Yes. A hundred percent agree. I so there were certain parts where Luffy was jumping on the ground and the ground was like moving like you know a trampoline, like yeah. it was waving, and you could tell like he had awakened the fruit and was able to turn everything into rubber. Yeah. And I was like, well, this is gonna be a fun fight to watch. <laughs> so like this, this man can turn everything rubber, and like the way he was moving, it's like he was Bugs Bunny. Yeah. Like, he it, And it was, like, crazy to think, like, but this is, like, an actual world. He's, like, an actual human. But, like, the concept of turning everything into rubber is literally what it looks like in a Looney Tunes cartoon. Like, yeah. the world is a play thing because they yeah. can turn everything into, like, an in that, like a, like a, like a, a buoyant thing. Yeah, Bugs Bunny can grab a, a, he can grab a metal pipe and like turn it into a a, a bow. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It in the, the the nerd pop culture world, I think it's called Tune Force, right? Mm. It, it, it it's like that's what the mask has. Tune Force, yes. the ability yes. to just kind of like do whatever you want and be whatever you want. Um. And the, and the technical term is called oh, go ahead. So I, I just want just to like help folks who don't understand what Gear 5 is. It is like Luffy, this main character from this anime that has been around for 25 years, all of a sudden got the the uh, Loki mask from the, the mask, like Jim Carrey. Yes, yeah. And then put it on. <laughs> He got the mask and put it on, but he was already goofy. So this goofy dude just got the powers to be as goofy as he wants to be. And that's his most awakened power. (laughs) It's ridiculous. That's that's what's so wild about it. Like we were having very serious, bam, weighted, heavy hit fights, very dramatic fights. And then it's like the next episode, oh, the main character is now the mask. Yes. And it's just like only in one piece, dog. Only, only in one piece. piece they're like <laughs> it's like and, become a completely different show again. Yeah. Yeah. And and I, I'm honestly here for it. I I I will say I'm um, I'm not even concerned. I'm just uh interested on in how Oda is going to handle this because no one else in this universe is like that. No. No one else no. in this world Everyone else is like is very serious business. No, we. I am going to kill you. I'm going to take this place over. I'm going to kill you with my very powerful powers. And Luffy's like, <laughs> you know, and it's like, how are we going to go forward as the story just keeps getting more mature and more serious? And that's the wild, no, that's the wild thing about Oda. We're at a pivotal point in One Piece where our stories are becoming more serious, more mature. And he turned the character into a Looney Tunes character. Can I just character. paint what's going on right now in the world of Wano real quick? Let alone the world. This might take a while, Mark. But I'm going to just paint <laughs> what's currently going on. All right. Just in case y'all forgot. Wano is a country that for the past 20 years has been conquered by a guy who hates the country. And everyone living in it because of some stuff that went down with his parents and stuff. He stole the country from the Shogun, and then got the Shogun's son, who is a world hero. He is beloved by some of the strongest pirates in the world. They see him like a little brother. And he comes back. He is clearly strong enough to take anyone down. Anyone down. The king of the pirates thinks that's his homeboy. He is the strong... He is... He's the man. All right? He makes him feel like a Fool, the shogun makes him feel like a fool for five years straight five years. and then goes back on a lie and then executes him 
and then tries to go after his family. And then after they disappear for 20 years, in those 20 years, he builds up factories that poison the water, that poison the livestock. And only people deforestation, can, just everything. Deforestation. Yeah. And only and keeps all the fresh and healthy food in only one part of an entire country. All right. So people are getting poisoned and people are dying. And then there's people also getting in prison in those factories to make machines for Kaido. So Kaido can build the most indestructible army in the world to take over the world. Oh, and by the way, they have devil fruits, artificial devil fruits the that are coming fruits. in called smiles that only work for 10% of the population. Do you know what happens to the rest of the people oh, who have those God. devil fruits? They lose all control of their emotions. They become laughing zombies, but they actually feel inside. They have all their range of feelings. So when they're sad and crying, they start laughing. When they are hungry and depressed, they start laughing. Yeah. When they are confused and angry, they start laughing. Everything is a laugh. They lose all control of it and they still eat the fruit because they are that hungry because all the food is that terrible. And Luffy turns into a cop. He turns into a cartoon from 1960. <laughs> that is his superpower to, to fight this horrendous affair that is happening to this country for the past 20 years. That is the setting of what's going on <laughs> in wow. the world of One Piece. Wow, and 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 for and context, that wasn't even everything. <laughs> this this moment in the show has been compared. I've seen a lot of comparison with the hype of Goku becoming Super Saiyan. Magical, I remember. You know, day. Yes. I've, I've I've seen a lot of comparison. Like like as kids, you know, everyone's like, "Oh man, Super Saiyan, it's coming, it's on its way." The dragons haven't even showed up yet. The dragons are coming. You know, <laughs> like like it, 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 this is dare I say the premiere of the White Ranger. Yeah, it's a big deal. It's a big deal, and um. Yeah, I, I like. Yeah, I, I, I want to get into like, like what you thought about the episode, but just again, blown away by the animation and just what they did. I feel like this is what Oda wanted. This is when, like, because I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Nels. I did you reading it? Did you get this same feeling? Like, I, I, I kind of got the sense in the anime. That like not that Luffy's out of control, but like he is, he is like power unchained. He is just like pure pureness and on unmeasurable power. Just and it cannot be stopped. But in the manga, I got the sense of like he kind of had more control. But I, I I'm not. It's not like that. He's not in control. I don't. Even, I'm. I'm trying to like. I. So I got from the manga that he was getting his bearings. Like he had yeah. just been given a bazooka for the first time of his life and he was figuring out how to aim it. But he yeah. was having the time of his life because he just yeah. got a bazooka. Like that's what it that's what it was like. It was just like, whoa, what <laughs> what just happened? I let mm -hmm. me figure out what's going on. I feel amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like I feel amazing. Um, the anime though, the anime, it is the beautiful thing about the anime. And this is partly animation, but also just like how they straight up did the episode that you couldn't do in the manga. You saw the world through the eyes of Luffy, right? So yes. you saw Speak how on he this. I love your take on this. Like you saw the world through the eyes of Luffy. He was just like bouncing around playing and like. It felt like the entire world was this plaything. There's a certain point where he blows his arm, gets it huge, grabs Kaido and pulls Kaido away. And as he's pulling Kaido away, Kaido's eyes fall back. Now, as we know, humans, at least in the world of One Piece, they can't really do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you're like, why is why are we seeing to, to give context? Eye? Yes. It's like it's like the Scooby Doo when their eyeballs bug out and like and it's like three sets of eyes. It's like little eye, medium eye, big eye. And and that's what happened. And we've never seen 
any animation like that in One Piece. Ever. Ever. And it's just not something that could happen in One Piece. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But it's because you're seeing it through Luffy's eyes. He is like having a ball. And when he pulls them, you're all boing. You don't hear the crumbling of a ceiling because he just pulled <laughs> a huge dragon through a roof. In any other One Piece episode, that is a loud noise. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this one is <laughs> boing. <laughs> and so you're just like, wow, this man isn't just a cartoon character. He is seeing the world through the lens of a Looney Tunes character in a real world. Uh, so I, I like, love yeah, your that's take just a that. way yeah. it's animated. I loved your take on that. Like, I think that really brings a lot of context to that. Like, this is how Luffy sees the world now. So Kaido just sees some crazy powerful monkey child, white <laughs> white haired monkey child beating the, the shit out of him. But yes. Luffy thinks it's a cartoon. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> that is accurate. <laughs> Um, uh, Kaido, it, but you know what? Kaido looks concerned, but he still don't look scared. That's how strong yeah. this man is. Yeah, he is. He, he was like, "What just happened to you? I <laughs> killed you. I'm sure I killed you. I'm pretty <laughs> sure, sure I killed you." But okay, but damn. <laughs> like, <laughs> but um, um, I was gonna say, uh, I lost it. Uh, something about the the fight. Oh, I was going to, uh, Luffy, even his voice sounds a little different. Yeah. And I can't put yeah. my finger on it. It's not that it sounds more mature. It, it It's, it's, it's just, so, I can't, I can't name it, but there's something about his voice. Psychotic. It's, yeah. It's like. Psychotic. Yeah. It is. It, it is a little like, I'm a little crazy now. I'm a little unhinged, yeah. you yes. know, um, mm-hmm. but, but like in the most playful way possible. Um, it's like I'm, what a four year old sounds, but as an adult, <laughs> like just imagine like the way a four year old talks and like how they talk in their cadence, but with an adult's voice. That's yeah. how Luffy sounded. L- let me ask you concerning. something. Yeah, why do you think Luffy is like laughing uncontrollably? Because he's free. Mm. When you are at your most free moment most joyful moment this man is laughing uncontrollably he he has never felt that free in his life yeah and he just can't help but laugh he literally has the freedom to do whatever he wants and he's yes. all he could do is laugh about it. all he can do is mm. laugh about it mm. Mm. that's interesting Whew. when's the last Boy, time boy. we saw well never mind we're not gonna yeah. <laughs> I'll leave it there. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Maybe a group of pirates saw something and they couldn't stop laughing. Maybe but, just maybe. Oh man. But uh okay, I, I want to get into any any criticisms because I have a few. Mm-hmm. I just want to like this isn't just the one piece like is amazing train. My only criticisms is um two. I think there was a lot of repeat animation. Like a lot. Yeah. There was a lot. Yeah. But I get it. <laughs> I get it because because that five seconds that they worked on probably took them like eight nine months to do. And and if I was still away, I'm like, nah, dog, like rewind that. Back them again a couple of times. and be like, you see what I just did? <laughs> you saw that, right? I'm like, you nah. see how I made him go like there and there? Okay, no, we're gonna show it to you again. Show it again. I know you want to see it again. Don't I spend you? nine months of my again. life. Drawing this character bouncing like no, you could have rewind that back. So <laughs> I'm not completely mad at it, and and that's actually that's kind of like a staple of anime. Anime is known for like its repeat animations, and you know, so I'm not mad at it. Um, but I do think for like the episode when your character reaches like that pinnacle power up, you might want to try to avoid that. But I get it. So whatever. My only yeah. the other criticism is. Um, and and I can't complain much because this is how it goes in the manga. I feel like we deviate, like they they could have took out Momo's sister her moment. It was a good moment. It was a dope moment. Um, where she gets revenge for the guy who, like, you know, basically is the reason why her father died. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that you could have took that out for this episode. You didn't need that in there. They could have, and they've done this before. 
in the anime, mm-hmm. they could have dedicated just this fight. Like yeah. this is the Gear Five premiere episode. They even go do 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 do. They yes. spell out Gear. <laughs> then they go five. Then they go Gear Five. Like this is the Gear Five episode. You you, you could have moved that to the next episode. Yeah, could have like you you could have. I, I and I'll leave it there because I don't want to like spoil anything. But you could have ju- you could have just move that to another episode and have this strictly be gear five yeah yeah they did because that with some of the category fights uh when he fought uh in uh whole cake island like they mm-hmm. were like you know what now we're just gonna move this to one episode so they could have done it but yeah and um maybe you know i get it man animation's expensive you got the best of the best working it's like well we got 30 seconds out of it how how do we stretch 30 seconds into a 20 minute episode so i'm i'm not mad and, 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 and Mark, and, just to add in there, that's another way that you can tell that you're seeing the world through Luffy's eyes. Because when they cut to, um, uh, what's it, Momo's sister, yeah. it looks like regular anime again. It does. It does. It, it looks yes, just like regular no. anime. It's it just, cuts you're just back. watching One Piece. And, and then is, you go back to yeah. Luffy and bam, it's that yeah. cartoon world version again. Because even Kaido's reactions are very cartoonish. It's very like, yes. like very Tex Avery. Um, when Luffy shoots the fireball back at Kaido, it kind of freeze frames and his eyes get big. And then even like the 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 color kind of change. It kind of turns into like a black and white kind of stretch drawing. And then um, when Luffy grabs Kaido and he gets big, kind of like uh, we've seen him in Tom and Jerry and Bugs Bunny, yeah. where the Characters just act like they got a lot of muscles. And he even says, he's like, muscles, Muscle. you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he grabs Kaido and just starts, like, body suplexing this dude. The animation looks completely different. It just, it, it it's it's like a little, it's less detailed, but it's more flowy. Mm-hmm. It's more fluid, yes. you know? But then yep. when we come back to Momo's sister, like you said, it's like, bam, now we're back to regular anime. So I think you know that. I think this is the world in Luffy's eyes. Or maybe this is just the way Luffy shapes the reality that he's interfering with. It could be. You know? <laughs> it could be. that, And that's a hell of an awakened power if he just turns the world <laughs> into Toonville. Like, that is wild. But, um... Yeah, I did man, have I one mean, criticism, no. though. What's that? I could have used more drums. Yo, like, the drums are don't stop nice. playing the drums. Yeah, just, <laughs> I just want drums nonstop. The whole could have gave me do, more do, drums. Do, the whole the Wakanda drums, like yes. keep them coming, bro. Yo, give me the drums the entire episode. <laughs> I you go you went on commercial when you come back drums still drums, more drums still drum. no more you don't ever stop with the drums. That's my only criticism. Yo, and, and like I you. <laughs> You know, you uh, when they're like recording the episode, you cut like into the sound stage. It's like one of those, the, this like sweat drench Japanese guy <laughs> on those like that traditional drum, yes, <laughs> with the sticks. They're like, my God, he's been at this for twenty four hours. <laughs> Don't do this poor man, they won't let him go home. <laughs> He's like, he's oh. like, can I get some water? And you're like, when does liberation take breaks? <laughs> you are a drum. Those liberation never end. They got um, they got what's his name from um Whiplash. <laughs> it's coming in. <laughs> Not quite my tempo. Not quite my tempo. <laughs> you got you got whoever is the niche's voice just in the back getting hype. Like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Joy boy. Joy boy. <laughs> 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 yep. Oh, I love it. I love it. Hey man, I'm I'm excited for the next episode. And it looks like based from the preview, this wasn't a one shot. It looks like no. the same team is is animating all these episodes. <laughs> that is wild. Like the, <laughs> so I mean, I think we can say comfortably that in the manga. The fight lasts about three chapters. Yeah. So if they're gonna if they're gonna film this entire fight, this is gonna be a movie. <laughs> like this is going to look fantastic. 
I, you know, um, I just want to like, what do you like? What do you think this means for animation and and anime in general? This was a big deal. I don't know if like the listeners understand like this. The hype for Gear Five was everywhere, bro. Everywhere. Like, I, I, I sent you that clip um, at a soccer game where they start playing the drums of liberation. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. You know what I'm saying? Like people in Times Square. I mean, one One Piece was trending for like a month. Yes, yes. And the most like... followed person on TikTok, Kabi Lane, changed his profile picture on all his social media to Joy Boy Luffy's moon like silhouette. The silhouette with his Nika, the sun god. All yes. right, yeah. Mm. Like folks, folks were hyped for this, bruh. Hyped for this. You, I think you right me... now our DC world is doing like a live action reaction <laughs> to Gear Five. <laughs> like it is seriously out. It's serious out here. It, it it's amazing that this this show just brought so many people together. And then there were haters. I don't know if you heard about the whole the, the the haters on deck waiting with their accounts to give it one star reviews on IMDb. And I'm just like, look. Attack on Titan fans. Yeah, I, I don't care. I, that is sad. Like, uh, that's sad. Come on now. I, I've I, never liked something so much that I have to hate something else. Just like what you like. Just... I, and I don't, I don't, and like maybe this needs to be an episode. I hate the whole the gatekeepingness and how fandom is so uh, cultish. And it's like you either like this or you don't like nothing else. And it's like, yo, like let people like what they like and let things be what they are, and just shut up. <laughs> you, you know what? You know, you know what COVID did that really messed up everything. It gave everyone free time for the better yes. or worse. It gave everyone yes. free time because before COVID, for better or worse, everyone was working a a, 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 minu, a, a job and making minimum wage. But you know what? They were busy. <laughs> they, <laughs> they were all busy and they didn't have their stupid freaking ideas to spew over the internet. You know? <laughs> yeah, we, people definitely got worse. Anyways, the, <laughs> the, I do understand loving something so much that you hate other things because... I am a UNC fan, and so I hate Duke. But outside of that context, outside of that context, yeah, this that is wild that you, because you're a fan of one thing, that's something that is not even connected to that. You're going to hate on that because you want people to think a certain way about your show. That is stupid. Um, it's dumb. And yeah, it's, it, it don't make no sense. But outside of that, like, you know, folks, I think the only other, like, logical haters are folks who like have not watched One Piece because they yeah. don't know how big it is, and they're like Gear Five. Like, why are you getting hyped for his fifth transformation? Get out of here! Like, we've seen Super Saiyan God not yeah. get this level of attention, so they're like, if if DBZ doesn't get this level of attention, then this doesn't deserve to get it, and that's because you haven't watched One Piece. You haven't. That's the because, only reason. I mean, I love, dude. I, I'll. There's a lot of um. There's a lot of people who don't like Dragon Ball Super. I, for one, I think Minus the Filler is very enjoyable because it exudes a lot of the the energy of Dragon Ball. So yes. I like I, I personally love Dragon Ball Super. But I will say it is definitely fun, in my opinion. It's fun. It's a fun it's definitely it's, fun. Especially if you like these characters, it's like, oh, we're getting the it is it is we are getting the gan the band back together, the series. You know the what series. I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like you remember our old band member from like <laughs> you five years guy? back he's back now he's and back he baby hang with us <laughs> so it's he didn't he the wasn't series. on the albums when we won the grammys but he's <laughs> back with us now he's <laughs> back <laughs> he's good enough to hang yes <laughs> but i will say in this interesting i want and i want to know your opinion super saiyan god was not treated with as much like like I don't know what's the word. It's just like fanfare. Uh, fanfare, anticipation, and that was a big deal. That was like Dragon Ball Z was coming back, 
And I think it's just because of, and no disrespect, of what Toriyama has did once Goku reached Super Saiyan. Yeah. And it's like the super the 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 prestige of being a Super Saiyan. I want to say up until Gohan went Super Saiyan 2. After that, it was just like, ah, whatever, Super Saiyans, Super Saiyan this, Super Saiyan that, Trunks and Goten and Super, you know, it wasn't really treated with prestige, but like Luffy has earned each of his power-ups. Yes. And then when he goes through them, it is a big deal. It's not just yes. like, it's not like this is the villain of this arc. Time for a power up. Bruh, Luffy will go arcs without a power up. Whole, arcs, like, multiple. Multiple arcs. So I think that's the difference. Like, and, like and, Oda. And there's a little more too, Mark. There's a little more. All his power ups have costs to them. When he yes. first learns them, it's not like there's no ram no consequences if he uses those power ups. There are mm -hmm. real consequences, and he faces them in the middle of fights. So, mm -hmm. like when Luffy uses a new power up, it's like, yo, I'm not gonna win unless I do this. I may not live unless I do this, and it's gonna cost me, mm -hmm. and I'm still gonna do it anyway because I'm reckless. Compared to DBZ, like. On the flip side, and this, you know, I'm not I'm not in the world of like battling one versus the other, but like yeah. no one does power the most renowned power-ups are DBZ power-ups. Like yeah, you, you can say Super Saiyan and like everybody in the world will know what you're talking about. There you say so, that it started the game. I mean, I'm pretty sure oh, yeah. there's been power-ups before that, but like power-ups were a thing after Super Saiyan. Like that yes, just and you had to have a power-up. Like you ain't got no power-ups in your show, you trash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, so like the way they did it, like one, Goku's not the only one who can go Super Saiyan. Other people can go Super Saiyan. And then two, in like two arcs after the Namek arc, there are scenes, like series of episodes where Goku and Gohan are just walking around Super Saiyan. Mm -hmm. They're just walking, talking, living like they're just constantly. He gets Super his Saiyan. driver's license as a Super Saiyan. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, yo, you, you felt like you, you felt like a demon when you became a Super Saiyan for the first time that you couldn't use the spirit bomb. Like you felt like you had so much raw power that you were an uncontrollable monster as a Super Saiyan. And we go from that to you're getting a driver's license with your Super Saiyan. Like it's yeah. kind of hard to like keep that heightness for it. Yeah. And then every and other arc you get. Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, really long hair. You know what I'm saying? And, so. and I, I think it's also, I, I completely agree. And I think it's also the level of opponents. Because mm -hmm. it's it's just something that's like when someone in DBZ or Super gets beat as a Super Saiyan, it's there's no, there's no like, oh my God, he just beat up a Super Saiyan. But you got Kaido, Thunder Bunga. <laughs> one shot on Luffy in gear four, we're like, oh my God. Like, 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 what is going on? Like, he just one shotted the goat in his most powerful form. What are we going to do? <laughs> you know, he went toe like to toe with a dude who was worth a billion dollars. Like, you're like, okay, Luffy is the man now. Yeah, and that guy one shot at him. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, young blood. He's like... <laughs> and he's in jail after that for many episodes. <laughs> and now you're going to jail, Luffy. <laughs> you're going to jail. And so you're like, yeah, this ain't happening. <laughs> I don't know what was supposed to happen in Wano, but it's not happening. <laughs> oh, man. up until this moment, up until here, I'm like, okay. Okay, maybe they might win. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I don't know if you have anything further, man. I I um I loved it. I, I I think it was beautiful as an animation fan. It's amazing. I can't wait to go back and look at some of those impact frames. I don't know if you've done that with like the the Zoro and the Queen and that Zoro, the Zoro and King and look at like the different impact frames and and all the like little hidden things in there um 
I, 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 I'm really excited to like look that look at that. Yeah, all I'll say is it, it was a piece of art. Like it was beautiful. It was. It was, it was art. Beautiful. It was art. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even like you know I I like the story, but like I was I was really in it to watch the animation, and I've never seen that before. Yeah, I've never in it, and it was beautiful. It 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 like you it it just looks like I'm looking at you, Mario. Like I got nothing else for you. Yeah, nothing... <laughs> I've never seen it before, and I saw it, and it was beautiful. <laughs> and I was just trying to wrap my head around it, but like you said, it looks like like the to the Toei team took a time machine, went back to the 1930s, like stormed the Warner Brothers studios, and then animated a Elmer Fudd episode. They had <laughs> you know they either had Tex Avery at gunpoint, cloned Tex Avery and gave him half of Asia's DNA, or or gave Tex a like Tex Avery and a lady had a time of their lives, and he was like, "I'm Asian now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Asian now." Because <laughs> that is I don't I don't know how else they were they worked swimmingly together like that's that's yeah two amazing two things and I, i've said this before but two things that will come from this right before no it's like right before you got into one one piece i think i mentioned that one piece was in it's like kind of like season three four breaking bad mm -hmm. like so it world, was like the it world was bubbling like, up. okay this is one of the best because you know when Breaking Bad first started, it was like, oh, you, it, it was like it was like you would find Breaking Bad fans in the street, like, oh, you watch Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad, and then mm -hmm. it was like, are you not watching Breaking Bad? And it's like that's not like what happened with One Piece. Like, hey, yo, you watch One Piece, One Piece, One Piece. So like you said, the number one person on TikTok is repping One Piece. So I'm really excited on where this takes the fandom of One Piece and just you know the Netflix show. But also, I want to see more collaborations with studios from the West and animation studios. Like this was amazing. I, 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 you know, in in movies, comics, whatever. Mon I, I want this to happen more. I think this collaboration of style is 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 just what is needed to jump like jumpstart new fandom. And and new energy and animation and and comics. I'll throw two two ideas for you. One is imagine the Avatar folks doing My Hero Academia episodes. That's one. That's just one example. The second one. Imagine if they're already so good. <laughs> they're both imagine, already so yes, good. <laughs> yes. Imagine that. Imagine the weight and how they flow with quarks. Instead of not just the element powers and all the things they can do with element powers, imagine if each of them could just nerd out about a quark the way they do their animation styles. So that's one. The other one I will invite you to consider is Teen Titans Go and Craig of the Creek. Doing um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. What do you mean? <laughs> what, like what are you? What are you even segment, saying to me? <laughs> it's a little segment. <laughs> big heads, just doing. Because you know what? That was kind of what the like what Full Metal Alchemist looks like. But imagine if they took it serious from like the way that Teen Titans Go and Craig of the Creek animated. I invite you to consider that. I don't even know how to like. <laughs> so you're saying like something like Craig of the Creek, but with like the gravitas of Full Metal Alchemist? Yes. Yes. Even... What? That's that's Dexter's Laboratory. Is that the Boondocks? That's the Boondocks. <laughs> what is... what? I don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> Except Asian. <laughs> Dude, oh man. <laughs> I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for One Piece. I'm excited for animation. Excited for you. I'm excited to see this live action show. Um, we've come a man, we have come a long way as anime fans. We've oh. come a long way from this like obscure little like niche to 
worldwide phenomenon. Mark, we come a long way. We used to get picked on for watching anime out here in these streets. We used to get picked on. Now it's like, oh, you watch mainstream anime? You don't yeah, even watch yeah. off stream anime? You don't watch like, the slice of life anime where the guy is a a a robot janitor who fights dragon soccer players? It's like what? <laughs> it doesn't even have an English uh It doesn't even have a dub. Name. It doesn't have no yeah. dub. <laughs> It, it, don't, it don't even got a dub. Like the name of it is whatever it is called in Japanese. <laughs> and you're like, huh? What is what does that mean? And they're like, that's the name of the show. Like, they're like, uh, you don't do that. And you're like, yeah, we've come a long way. I and you know what? I bet the folks who made Tsunami right now, I bet they're having a cigar right now. Yeah, they did. I it. bet they're it having a them. cigar. That was them. It was them, Mark. It was, it them. was them. They did it. We're at this point right now that we can have a live action One Piece that we're going to talk about ne- at the end of the month because of them. They're Thank just... you, uh, Ted Laszlo and the, the team at William Street. Y'all, y'all did this. Y'all did they this. made today possible for America. Anyways, <laughs> magical stuff. Anything else, Mark? Uh, nah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm like again. It's wild that we're on this journey. I cannot wait to watch the live action show and discuss that with you. I've converted more One Piece fans since you, so <laughs> I'm doing Oda's work. You know, <laughs> and I was the hardest one. <laughs> it took me 20 years. <laughs> Some, You're a pro at this by this point. A friend of mine. Who I I I just like I converted him. I uh, same thing. I was like, "Yo, man, you get to episode." I I told him, "I was like, you get to episode thirty-seven. You don't like it, and I'll I'll send you fifty bucks." Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Word." So he got to episode thirty-seven. He was like, "Keep your money." <laughs> <laughs> and now he is now at Marine Ford. Oh, <laughs> he's. <laughs> He's not going back. <laughs> He's in it. He's in it. He's not going back. The Marine for oh man, what a time! Wish I could relive that <laughs> first time in Marine for. Wish I could relive that. Oh, glorious! And guess what, buddy? It gets better. <laughs> it gets better. It just keeps getting better. It gets better. better. But, nah, man. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm hyped too. I'm excited about our first uh, One Piece check-in episode, and yeah, man, can't can't wait to. I can't believe I'm about to say this on wax, but. Can't wait to talk more One Piece with you. <laughs> I love it. Can't I wait. love it. Can't wait. And nerd out some more. And y'all, we have read past what's going on right now. It gets better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It gets yeah. better. We'll leave it there. It just it keeps getting better. better. <laughs> it gets better. <laughs> All right. Well, thank y'all for listening. We have a new episode every month. Uh, find us on all social media at Pop Call Parent P O P C U L T P A R E N T. Visit us at www.popcallparent.com. Email us at popcallparent at gmail.com. Don't forget to rate us, review, and subscribe. And as always, join the cult. Peace. Peace. <laughs>